Greetings, everybody. We are pleased to have you back for this film. We will analyze the AMC split, the meeting, the predicament of short sellers who are obligated to repurchase synthetic assets, and various other topics. We will begin by addressing the planned termination of the final Swiss 1500 series account by the DTC on the upcoming Thursday. The CS account exhibits intermittent opening and closure, indicating a potential malfunction in the unwind process. Recently, we became aware that Credit Suisse was undergoing a transformation. Furthermore, it is evident that UBS is encountering challenges as a consequence of this situation. There are rumors circulating that they are close to experiencing bankruptcy and are seeking a capital infusion of almost $20 billion. The current situation clearly demonstrates the significant disruption caused by short positions. Furthermore, it is important to acknowledge that they are undergoing training to provide assistance to Credit Suisse and guarantee the well-being of UBS. Nevertheless, the current behavior of NCC members is both perilous and exceeding their authority. This could have a detrimental effect on the overall market, as well as on the customer. In other words, the borrower either borrowed the security in order to use it for short selling, or they did not own it. This practice is commonly referred to as naked short selling and it is considered to be against the law. The meaning behind the mention of the SEC regulation permitting naked shorting is quite apparent. As a result, Credit Suisse is experiencing significant financial difficulties and has already filed for bankruptcy. UBS is also in risk of bankruptcy. The reason for this is primarily because it will result in the bankruptcy of UBS and several other market participants. The key catalyst for this situation is the presence of short sellers, together with the government's anxious response despite their assertions of being able to rescue a bank if needed. Furthermore, they contend that iPhones should own a greater amount of currency. They possess knowledge of the potential dangers linked to the continuous practice of naked shorting, as they have generated an enormous number of AMC shares that will require coverage. We shall delve into this topic in more detail at a later point. When considering the potential results, it becomes evident that JP Morgan, a prominent global bank, has identified the existence of another mine. Presently, this is the prevailing state of affairs for JP Morgan. It is important to comprehend that short positions include unlimited risk. If you are currently viewing this video and possess knowledge about AMC, you should already be aware of this fact. It is important to recognize that if the actual value of gold were to be disclosed to the financial markets, J. B. Morgan could encounter significant difficulties. The bank may be unaware of the magnitude of this threat, but a rapid surge in gold prices could reveal their susceptibility. Given that JP Morgan may have a greater number of short positions compared to its assets, it implies that if the short positions were to decrease significantly, JP Morgan might potentially lose all of its assets and be compelled to sell off their holdings. Furthermore, JP Morgan, a prominent global bank and a major provider of loans to short sellers, is currently facing bankruptcy. This issue will not only adversely impact the overall economy by resulting in the failure of a bank, but it might also lead to the insolvency of lenders to these hedge funds. This outcome would be advantageous for us as it would reduce the availability of cash for short sellers. If necessary, they might readily exercise their right to demand repayment of the loans they extended and compel the borrowers to liquidate their assets in order to settle their debts. Accelerating the process will have the additional benefit of impacting the shorts, a desirable outcome given the current discussion on the buyback of synthetic assets and efforts to prevent their occurrence. Here is our observation. During the years 2022 and 2023, it is important to note that the usage of AMC attained a maximum capacity of 100% for a continuous period of one year. The SEC ignored its own prescribed criteria, which required hedge firms engaged in short selling to liquidate their positions within a period of 13 days. The SEC seemingly protected shorting hedge funds by suggesting that shares could be located, although being aware that there were no available AMC shares. They had compelling justification to suppose that the security could be borrowed due to this. As a result of the high level of risk and debt they incurred, banks and creditors declined to provide assistance to them once they had issued a significant number of bogus shares. It is understood that, at the appropriate moment, they are obligated to fulfill their commitment to buy back each share they sold through naked short selling. The total theater spending amounts to $1.89 billion, dollars assuming that 3.8 million stockholders go to the movies once a week for 52 weeks, with an average cost of $957 per visit. Another fascinating feature of this point is that the identical sum of $1.89 billion was employed to acquire shares in the same year, resulting in a total of 91.22 million shares being redirected in support of the company's storyline. 
I would want to hear your opinions on this matter. As said previously, if we decide to buy AMC shares, we need to remember that the shares you are buying are probably 9 out of 10. Ensure that you perform thorough investigation and research on your own. The discussion revolves around the notion that, as elucidated in this article, if I were engaging in short selling of the stock, I would rather suggest that you use your funds towards a different investment. Since a short seller, I don't place much importance on fundamentals since I am aware of their upward trend. Therefore, I recommend that you consider investing in products or other Ventu simultaneously with the movie. By sharing your experiences, you can effectively advertise the film and potentially motivate others to watch it. This, in turn, may decrease the necessity for financial methods like as cash payments or stock offerings. Moreover, a pleased trader generally makes more astute judgments. However, it is important to note the following observations, and it is up to you to make your own assessment. Recently, we encountered an item that was employed to assail AMC by making claims such as, AMC cinema lenders propose extending the debt to assist the struggling movie chain. This text clearly attempts to persuade you that AMC is in a precarious situation, among other negative implications. Ensure that you sell your AMC shares and other relevant assets, as the hedge funds are employing their customary tactics. However, it is evident that the participants in this meeting were exclusively the two firms described before. Furthermore, it is crucial to note that if this gathering was specifically for senior creditors, the initial Leon 2029 loan note holds great importance as it presently serves as the primary obstacle prohibiting AMC from distributing dividends. We observe their interactions with the individuals involved, and there is a possibility that wherever it is expanding, it is also reciprocating the debt in some way. Silver Lake 2026 Deb Note and Glass Trust Co. LC, the senior Leon 2026 Deb Note, were both present. The experts suggest that dividends will increase rapidly in the near future. Furthermore, it is important to note that we have successfully reduced our overall debt by an additional $250 million this year, resulting in a remaining total of $4.50 zero. In addition, we surpassed expectations by allocating funds to new business opportunities during a period that was anticipated to be our most challenging quarter. Hence, it is imperative to acknowledge our ability to reimburse a sum of $250 million and our potential to return further sums in the future. This brings us back to the initial point we made about the potential benefits of supporting AMC through either purchasing shares or seeing the film. Regardless, there are both benefits and drawbacks that should be taken into account. One side facilitates the acceleration of the payout process by enabling you to settle debt at a faster rate. The opposing faction intensifies the pressure on individuals engaged in short selling and causes a surge in demand for purchases. While acknowledging the good aspects, it is important to recognize that we are currently exerting greater pressure on short sellers. I am grateful for your attention, and I will communicate with you at a later time.